you can see over here that the place still has power. Look at this, everyone. We just made it to the food court. I found pizza. I really like this cinema a lot. It has a lot of character to it. Is that someone laying there on the ground? Hello? What is going on today, Ronan fam? I hope you guys have been doing well. If you're new around here, my name is Steve Ronan and go on Epic Adventures. You're gonna wanna to subscribe and hit that notification button bell. Today, we're gonna to be exploring this abandoned mall, which is known as Richmond Town Square. This was one of the largest malls here in Cleveland, Ohio. With a new generation coming and the likes of COVID affecting many businesses, things such as schools, hospitals, homes, malls, they've all taken a big hit. But malls are definitely the things that won't exist in the next few years from now. This mall is gonna be gone within two months. So I just had to come here. I'm with the homie Rick. Yo, Rick, come over here. They gotta see the thumbs up, man. You guys know Rick. We've explored a few times already. We're doing this little road trip. And yup, give a like. You guys have to check him out too. This link will be down below in the description. But besides that, I'm here to document this abandoned mall here today for the locals because I'm sure, like everyone else, our childhood was always based on going to the mall with your family, with your mom and dad, your sisters and brothers and friends. And this is dedicated to you guys and hopefully this will bring you guys a lot of nostalgia and good memories. Richmond Town Square opened in 1966 with Sears and J.C. Penney as its original anchors a Lowe's Theatre and a Woolworths. Developed by the renowned mall developer Edward J. DeBartolo Sr. and became the largest mall in Ohio. After several changes, including the addition of the Richmond Town Square branch of the Cuyahoga County Public Library, Coffins replacing Woolworths and the renovation of the mall in 1998, DeBartolo Realty Corp. merged with Simon Property Group, which expanded and renamed the mall. The total cost of the renovation was reported as 100 million US dollars. In 2006, Kaufman's was rebranded to Macy's and Barnes & Noble closed in 2010. The mall was then purchased in 2014, but the mall was then sold again to a retail investment group in 2016. Both Sears and JCPenney announced they would close in 2017, and in August 2020, the retail investment group announced that the mall would close permanently to allow for redevelopment to take place. The remaining portions of the mall were sold to Deal Point Merrill in July 2021, and an event was held in the parking lot of the former Sears in June 21 to show the locals the plans of Bell Oaks, which is their project to bring luxury apartments, a hotel, and a park to the mall's north end where the vacant Sears building and parking lot are located, in a $69 million investment. The mall was planned to be demolished in the fall of 2020, but remained open throughout the rest of 2020 and until May 6, 2021, when it finally closed for good. So we just made it inside. This was one of the entrances. Oh, perfect. Here's a directory. You can tell us where we are and what stores are near us. So we are right here, right behind us was a Sears. And we just have a bunch of other stores going down this hallway, but there's no second floor. It's just all ground level. Let's take a look at Sears really quick. It's completely empty. We'll start here and check out all the stores down the hallway. There's also a Planet Fitness, but what I'm really excited about is Regal Cinemas. We're gonna have to explore everything and start heading here. I would love to go see an abandoned movie theater. I am loving the vibe here already. The skylights in this mall has such a unique design. And I love how symmetric it is to everything. 
Let's see, we've got Case Beauty. Body gear, I can see over there. But most of the shops, as you can see, are quite empty. You know, this video is just gonna be all about the memories that the locals had in here. And just to show them like the state of the mall. I wish there was stuff still left behind. I mean, they still kept these pictures up. This was the front desk. Some of these stores I'm not even familiar with. Already I didn't even know a couple down this hallway. Like Exit, I've never heard of it. The store is not around my area. And in case you're wondering, I'm from New England. They're all empty. This mall is so crazy, guys. Rick is all the way down there. You can't even see him. But as I'm talking, there's like an echo no matter what. But this is the center of the mall, I guess. I guess there was another floor. There's the elevator. The janitor's bucket is still here. I'll admit though, this place has no graffiti or damage that I'm used to seeing. So we're definitely one of the first to explore this mall. There's Rick. How are you liking it, man? I mean, Sears look completely empty. I don't know about JC Penney, it's probably the same thing. Let's see upstairs. Did you, is there anything up there? Ooh. These beams are pretty tall. There's some caution tape here. And I think it's because parts of the ceiling is starting to fall down. This looks so random. Like I can already see it off in a distance. There's, I feel like there's really nothing. It just leads to that little platform. Yeah, this is so random. Yeah, right? Why would they have like just this escalator here? Oh. And it just balled it off. Gotcha. I think it is still active in there. I wonder if I can hear anything. I can, I can hear people. I hear people in music. Yeah. There's a jewelry store. Imagine if there's like jewelry still left behind. Yo, is that a safe? Looks like, looks like someone cracked it open. What if it was here when it was abandoned and someone stole everything? Maybe there was like money in these envelopes. They're all just scattered on the ground. And it looks like they're, they've been open. You can't really see it, but there's neon lights on the edge of the sunroof. You can see over here that the place still has power. This back room still has some light that's turned on. But let's just explore this area first. Well, this looks like it's been smashed up. It's like this booth was selling some jewelry. This Diamond King 2. Right next to the Vitamin Cafe, you can see some really bad leakage coming from the ceiling. It's still dripping water. And there's black mold growing all around up there. Man, I love this. I love the dripping water. It's giving me like Last of Us vibes right cool. now. <laughs> this is totally it's so dark and creepy. Yeah, it's really dark and creepy. So, you know, you need a team of two for this. Well, already it looks bigger than Sears. And there's more stuff. Yeah, they probably sold jewelry on this stand or perfume. You guys know what they sell in JCPenney. Wow, it's massive. Bro, I wonder where this goes. It's not like the mall has a second floor. 
Let's go. Let's go investigate this. It's just another level for JC Penny. Well, this is the first find. There's still some stuff laying around. Well, Rick, this is the only piece of clothing that's just left here. Some panties. Still got the tag on them. Does it smell? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Go for it, Rick. No, no they don't smell because they, they still got the tag on them. Yeah, it's $10. <laughs> <laughs> the place is just giving me creepy vibes. I don't think a JC Penny can be haunted, right? Yeah, definitely not. Head to the food court and then to the movie theater. This is the way to the food court. It also has some shops. And at fitness, $10 a month, no commitment. No, Auntie Anne's, no. They have the best lemonade here. Yeah, the best, number one lemonade. No. Look at this, everyone. We just made it to the food court. The lighting here is spectacular. Like this sunroof is iconic for this mall. I've been seeing it a lot in photos. To be honest though, it's kind of a really small food court. Nonetheless, this had so many memories for the locals for sure. If you remember eating here, it'll leave a comment down below. I guess this chair was put here for a photo. Let's go check out some of the restaurants that they had. Some of the signs have been left up. I'll probably be coming here a lot. It's a restaurant called Osaka. They probably serve your typical teriyaki meal. Let's see the menu. The prices aren't too bad. They're pretty modern. I mean, this place has just been abandoned recently, but you can definitely tell that scrappers have been here, stealing the copper and the metal. They tore this wall down. I'll say at least back to the kitchen. And these were the freezers. Dang, it's a small kitchen that they had. Mm, it's empty. Now look, it's uh, something posted here in Chinese. It's probably to organize where to keep the vegetables and the meats and the produce. other restaurants can't even tell what this could have been everything has been taken down my guess it kind of looks like a subway this has been stripped apart too but in 2015 it was known to be a top rated restaurant so it must have been good these two have labels it says Caribbean street food. They had patties, cocoa bread sandwiches, salads and meals, sides. And I think I would eat here too. Sounds really, really good. This just made me hungry. I didn't really eat anything before I came here. Charlie Philly steaks. Man, I remember the first time I came to Philly. The first thing I did was get a Philly cheese steak. Heck, this might've been like the restaurant chain. So it looks like we had more of the high-end restaurants 
right over here. It's called Cavantes. Richmond Town Square honors those who dot dot dot. Probably serve proudly served to protect our freedom. They probably had like the pictures of the soldiers plastered on the wall over here. Okay, let's go inside the restaurant. Well, this is how the restaurant looks like now. They had a stage. You probably have the local bands playing in here. Jeez, it's dark. And here was the bar. Let's go behind the bar. Yeah, everything has been taken out of here. Look at this. There's still a notice for people to enter wearing a mask. It says the Demo Logistics Demo Mall, March to July 2023. So they're going to start demolishing this place in a few months. This is why we document these places, because they're going to be long gone. The logistics is hard to kind of understand. I guess it's saying like which parts they're going to demolish first. They had the Regal Cinema, of course. We're now in the main hall. On the right is JC Penny, Sears, and then the Life Storage, which I believe is still active. Rick, you won't believe this. I found pizza. <laughs> You're being recorded. <laughs> it's just a prank, it's just a prank. <laughs> this is pizza I got earlier today. Figured it would be a big explore and I needed some food to take with me. 7-Eleven pizza, it's not bad. So Rick and I were just hearing a lot of crackling. Dude, somebody's trying to get in. You think so? Somebody's trying to get in, because that's wild. Yeah, we hear a banging. Yeah, it's consistent. You hear that? Yeah. I don't know if y'all can hear that on camera, but. Or do you think it's like maybe, it could be a scrapper. Somebody coming from way over Wait, I mean, it's just the wind. All right, we're hearing a lot of that's movement. that's so much. So we might have to proceed the next row. I could be in the cinema, bro. Yeah. Could be. Could be people in there. All right. Let's just go and check then. Yeah. But look at this, guys. <laughs> I was just admiring this before all the commotion. This is definitely the best angle, right here. Look at it. What if that were to drop? Would that just like go through someone's head? Probably and body, would it cut them in half? Probably go through the floor. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's like a giant Beyblade. That's all I can, that's the way I can describe it. So this is the back rooms, guys. For sure, for sure. Bro, look at that red light. You can't even see it on my camera. All the mailboxes. It was probably for all the staff and employees. Oh, no way. The security office. You see anyone in there? No. Can you even open the door? I don't know if I want to. Try it. Oh. Let's go right in. I've always wondered what it's like inside a security office. Wait, wait, wait. Shh. Is that someone laying there on the ground? Oh, okay, no, it's oh, just a no, boot. A oh my gosh, dude. I don't know, maybe. Well, let's, hold on, let me check. You don't smell like a dude, man. Hello? Oh, no, no, it's just a boot. Bro, these tactical boots are worth something. Look at this hat. 
security mall cop hat. <laughs> I found a membership card for something for Speedy. All right, the computer doesn't turn on. Nope. It's not your size, Rick. It's not my size. Nope. No. You got a big head, bro. I got a big old head. <laughs> What the heck? Bro, there's security uniforms just laying all around. Dude, these pants look like my pants that I'm wearing right now. They look tactical. Bro, these are the same pants. You know, like, these are worth... These are really high quality. They're made by Balls? Balls. Balls made them. Wait. <laughs> That's like Balls right. or Galls. <laughs> That's a terrible brand name. <laughs> We have people's names still in the locker. There. This is probably the lost and found box. So this guy was wanted and they sent security a warning to find this guy. Apparently he has a felony warrant and he has stolen from both Vision Works and Lens Crafters. Individual is said to wear the same hat and coat each time he hits the stores. Possible biohazard evidence. Looks like they kept something in here. It looks empty now. This we found what security used to roll up on. I wonder if we can drive this around. That'd be so crazy. I mean, there's keys left here. Looks like a pair of car keys. Oh, that doesn't fit. That fits. Oh, wait. Damn. Nothing's happening. This could have been the key, but I think it's just dead. So we got told by a friend that the cinema can be entered through the back room. It's all lit up in here. Well, those are the power generators. The cinema. Oh, it's lit. Yeah. I, I kind of want to make sure we're the only ones here because we heard bang earlier and it was coming from this direction. All these rooms are the auditoriums where you can go and watch your movie. Is that a vending machine? I think it was. It was for candy and treats. This is awesome. It's all little because the entrances haven't been boarded. So this was the main entrance to the cinema. And this is how it looked like when you were walking in. I really like this cinema a lot. It has a lot of character to it. Bright colors and some interesting designs. Over here is probably where you would get your movie tickets. And then this would probably display what time your movie was gonna play and what auditorium you had to go to. And then once you enter through, you have this giant concession where you get like your popcorn, your snacks and candy, burger, hot dog, cinema. I was never one to order food here. I would always like buy snacks outside and kind of sneak it in. It still baffles me that we're exploring this abandoned mall and it has its own cinema. I've explored abandoned malls in the past, but usually, you know, they don't have a cinema. So this is the very first. I absolutely love this Explorer and I hope you guys have been enjoying a lot too. I've been taking a lot of photos of it as well so you gotta check them out on my Instagram at Steve Ronan or go to the link in the description. But you know to those viewers watching right now leave a comment down below if you've ever been to this cinema before to watch a movie. I would love to hear your experience coming here. What's this? Guest services? Random jug of chocolate milk. Hmm. 
We got a club card here. Probably get some perks from that. It's a safe room. Look at these safes. Nothing inside them anymore. There's a lot of them. And they've been open. I feel like someone definitely stole the things inside. I like the tiles. This is a big bathroom. Rick's over there taking some photos. Over here was like another entrance. So Rick and I saw some cars in the back drive by and we didn't know what they were gonna do, but I guess they were gonna drift in the snow and I was correct. They're drifting right now. Let's see how good he is. Oh, that's not that great. No. He Rookie. But yeah, that kind of looks like a skyline. I think back there is his friend Subaru. I also drive one, but I had the STI version. All right, I guess they switched drivers. His friend took over. I actually like this side a lot better. And you gotta love the starlights in here. Cause this is how it looks like from the back. All right, let's go down this wing and check out some of the auditoriums. So we'll start with number 16. This is creepy. What? All the seats are still here. This is unbelievable. Normally when I explore band cinemas, the torrents are like stripped. The seats are usually empty. Look like scrappers have been coming back here and taking things too. Part of the screen has been cut. I probably saw all the wires from behind. Let's see if we go check out another one. Maybe they can be a little bit different. Torium number 20. Okay, some of them are different. You can see that they're beginning to take some of the seats out. I mean, this one still has half of it left. Yeah, it looks exactly the same. This is gonna be the last auditorium, number one. Well, this definitely feels more premium than the other two. And I think it's a lot bigger. I'm guessing this must've been like IMAX. Let's find a way to go to the projector room. Okay, this will probably take us to the projectors. And I was right. Well, this kind of looks like office. Here's another vault. This looks like a giant freezer. Now we've made it to the projector room. 
I don't see any projectors. I guess those were taken. But there's still some equipment left. You can see that the projectors were placed right here. And they would screen the movie from these windows. Now I know how people can get caught if they put their phone out and start recording a movie. It's because, you know, the staff members are probably up here watching too. Well, we just made it back to the car. The only thing active here is that Planet Fitness right there behind me. You know, we saw the sign inside. Other than that, this mall is abandoned. Oh, what a long day. Well, I'm gonna go grab some food. We're hungry, we're starving. I'll see y'all at the Airbnb. All right, everyone, thank you so much for making it to the very end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button bell. And to all you guys already subscribed, make sure those notification button bells are turned on because I've been getting a lot of messages that's been turned off for most of you guys. So just reminder just to keep looking at it and make sure it's turned on but yeah i really did enjoy this exploration and i hope you guys did too what an amazing place it's so cool to explore abandoned malls especially since you know like they're probably not going to be here in the next 50 years or so and the cinema was absolutely sick i love how retro it felt leave a comment down below what you enjoyed most about it and also guys before i end it here just want to know that cop the wander hoodies guys Link in description, shopfremixwander.com. Also, if you guys want to see another abandoned mall exploration, leave a comment down below because I film maybe four more abandoned malls in Ohio itself. So yeah, just leave a comment and let me know if you can guess what malls they are. But until next time, guys, don't forget to live a life of freedom and wonder. I'll see y'all next time. Peace and thanks for watching. Is that someone laying there on the ground?